Good morning, all. It is Saturday. Um, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say that because I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, but um, anyways, today or right now, Joseph is at John Deere. He's getting some oil for our combine, the John Deere 6620, and we are going to go along with him and change the oil in the combine. So won't you come farming with us? So I'm walking down to the shed. Um, Joseph is back from John Deere and he pulled the stuff that was in the shed in front of the combine out and he started the combine just to let it run and warm up a little bit. So um, I'm sure we'll start here soon. So you lifted that thing up. So this is like the hood of your car. Like this is the hood covers the engine, whatever. Okay. The engine's right here. I can, I can this is the engine compartment. I don't know if I can get back far enough. Engine compartment, nothing special. Whatever. Turbo. This is where you, this is your dipstick or check your oil. This is where you refill. Yeah, that's your fill cap. Fuel filters are back here. Back here. There's one. There's two fuel filters. Um, right now and then let's see here. So I was just running the engine a little bit just to warm it up, just so it's not, I don't know, because when your oil sets and cools, um, when it sets and it, it gets cool, it, so as your engine sits and gets cool, you know, as, and it's kind of chilly this morning, it got chilly overnight, um, I don't know, might have been in the 40s. It gets a little thicker. I mean, it's probably not that big a deal, but if oil's warm, it flows easier. You know, there's, there is some debris that gets in your oil, you know, as, as an engine wears or whatever. I mean, that's why we have filters to catch all that debris. So if it, I don't know. I just think if you, you pump it up and get it kind of warm, it, it'll empty out of there a little easier maybe. Um, but anyways, there's, these two lines down here <clears throat> that come out underneath everything. This big one is the is your drain or your oil pan, and this other one here is small one. Oops, I wasn't getting those. The big one is your is what drains your oil pan, and the big one is what, or the little one is what drains your filter. So there's a couple of fittings, and then there's a hook down here on this platform, and we can hang a bucket. So that's how we'll drain it. So we'll go down there, and we'll take those loose, and we'll start draining. Okay. So Joseph's trying to find a bucket to drain the oil into, but um, I want to show you guys, this is the oil we're using. Joseph used this, uses this for all the tractors we have. Thank you, Silas. So it's not like just specifically made for the combine, um, but it is John Deere brand. And the box he got came with two. So does that mean you, you'll use both of those? Yeah, so the combine has another 20 in 20.6, 20 point four basically. So we will, yeah, so that's like five gallons, a little more than five gallons. Okay. So I got two and a half, or two, two and a half gallon jugs, and then I got a, a quart jug. Okay. So just, you have a little bit extra just yeah, in case. Be, well, that'd be 21 quart. So. Okay. I gotcha. So here's a closer look. Do you remember how much this was? Silas, huh? do you remember how much it was? <laughs> it was charged, so me, the bookkeeper, will find out later on. Anyway, so there are those two valves. Oh, yeah, just these two plugs. Okay. This is the oil pan, and this is the oil filter. I need to get a couple of inches. <clears throat> I got it, Si. So that's where we were before in the video, and we're gonna have them drain into this bucket. So 
So if anyone would like to know, usually, so it's the end of October, usually sometimes we have snow where it's pretty cold and today it's supposed to be in the 80s. So trying to take advantage of that. So there's like caps on those. Yeah, it's just a plug. plug. She comes. Hmm. I should have grabbed a rag. I'll go get Seven you one in the trees out there. I'm trying to wrench it right there. You put a bit of oil in there. So, this is a dumb question, but when you first put like new oil in, is it pretty clear? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of brownish golden color, but it's a lot clearer than that. So, like, if it's dark like that, that's when you kind of know that, okay, no, it's cold? No, diesels just burn. Oh. Like, there's a lot of soot. Holy balls, we tighten that. There's a lot of soot and stuff as you burn diesel, especially mm -hmm. these old engines. Hmm. So that's why your oil gets so black. And how often do you change the oil? Um, or are you supposed to? Or? You should probably do it every 100 hours. I don't know. We don't get 100 hours a year on it. I probably went a little too long just because I'm lazy. I don't know. <laughs> Supposedly. Oh, man. There you go. Some people say, oh, you can go 500 hours. I don't know. You should probably do it every 100 hours. Okay. A little okay. excessive. <laughs> we get about 50 hours on it a year. So every other year is probably good. If you want to get real wild and crazy, you should probably change it. Should probably change it every season. It'd be good. So, Just because you know there's fresh oil in there and I mean your engine is an expensive piece of this piece of equipment, so yeah. do your best to put quality quality oil in it and take care of it. So when you're working forty hours a week at your other job and then the two or three weeks you're harvesting you're working like Almost 20 extra hours a week. <laughs> yeah. 25. Yeah. 20. But it's worth it, ain't it? Yeah. If I work about 12, 14 hour days, I don't know. Huh. Hours, I hope it's all fit. It's going to be really close. Oh, so it's going to fill the bucket. Yeah. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Well, there's 21 quarts. So. Yeah. It might take a while, huh? Yeah. It seems like it's sweating. Mm -hmm. uh. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh my god. It's a lot of oil. Let's do it quick. No, oh, actually, I may not need it. I'm gonna wait. See if I actually need it. Yeah, we're still draining a little bit out of it. It is warm, though. You can touch the bucket. Huh. I only ran for about 10 minutes and it did get long, so. Yeah, it's quite to see how much is in that one. One, two. Is that half full, you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's almost half. Oh, we need to go. Okay, so we're changing the filter? Yep. So we go like this. So. this works. Oh shoot, is it not big enough? No, how did I use this last time? Yeah, I think I remember that. He's gonna come So do you change the filter every time you change the oil? Mm -hmm. So here's the box for the filter. 
It's also from John Deere. Can I open this? Maybe. Anyways, filters in there. We'll get it out in a minute here. I guess I can go to one size bigger, can't I? Maybe I should try that. So what do you use that thing for? This is a oil filler wrench. No, I'm talking about the circular thing. Yeah, it's all filled. Uh -oh. It goes over the filter, and then as you turn, as you turn, it tightens. Okay. And then you spin your filter off. Huh. So you use that to put the new one in? No, you just take the old one off. Oh, take the old one off. And you're making it bigger because yeah. it won't fit the existing one. Right. That is correct. You get inside. Yeah, let's see here. Lefty Lucy. Alright, so you pull this way. No, pull this way. Yeah, I think. No. So where is the filter down there? Right back here, it's this, it's this black oh, thing right okay. here. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm right. Woohoo, it worked. Yeah, I can put a ratchet on there, hopefully. Sterling's trying to get the motor started. <laughs> There's your old oil filter. Oh, nice. Cool. So, okay. I'm trying to get that rubber piece out. Yep. There's a rubber gasket. Okay. I'm just going to toss that down. Take the new one. Get that put in there without getting it too dirty. Would it be bad if the combine sat without oil? Yes. Well. Like if you had to do it, like you emptied it today, and then like in three days you put more in. That probably wouldn't be that big a deal. What would be bad is if it sat without oil for an extended period of time. Okay. So there are little particulates, and I mean, that's why we put filters on it. Yeah. That's what the filter's supposed to catch, but obviously the engine is, the wall of the cylinder is steel on steel, just happens to be clearance. Mm -hmm. But I should have put oil on the wheel. I'd really like to oil that gasket, but it 
All of our oil is drained out. Almost looks like it has a picture on this side of there, so you kind of had to do it. Yeah. Can you use that to tighten it? Yep. Shot of your elbow. Thanks. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Party foul. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, maybe I am. Okay, well, so you use that to tighten it just like you untightened it. Mm -hmm. Just down there. And so those will last however many hours your oil lasts too. Mm -hmm. Might it be the end of the world if you didn't change that when you changed your oil? Probably not, but it's better to do it. It's just better to do it Can you get um, off-brand filters to use too? Yeah, you can. I don't know. I just like to use John Deere stuff. Just... Yeah. I don't know. Just because... Putting the plugs in. Mm -hmm. yeah, I should be ready at all. Cool. Go get a full. Dump the oil in, right? Bones. I could have taken a little more stamp and that would have been a Is he? Is he underneath? No one's going to come in. Oh, is the bucket down there? No. Well, I may end the video there. All you gotta do is in, or just put all the oil in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then tighten it back up. Yeah, that's right. Man, it's hair of mine. Um, so, we're done doing that. We're done uh, changing the oil in the combine. Um, and I didn't show you guys like us putting all of the oil in because it's nap time. But you guys get the gist of it. So, anyways, thanks for joining us today on Thousand Generation Farms. Um, hope you have a great weekend and we will see you next time.